practice and policy of the Department of Correction is to allow the DVD disc and thumb drives to be sent to its prisons that contain legal documents or records, etc., as long as it comes from a legal entity. These items are usually kept and controlled by what is called the records department. And when a prisoner need access to them, he can sign up for the law lab for the law library and request these items and just notify the legal liaison that you need to review these items. While at Beaumont Correction Center I had approximately two to three discs and initially two thumb drives that were being kept under administrative control. On July twelfth, twenty twenty four, I had an attorney visit with attorney Thomas Ruffin, who delivered several legal documents and approximately four to five thumb drives containing my medical records that I previously paid the institution over two hundred dollars to copy as part of pending litigation. This visit was under intense scrutiny and surveillance by the warden, Captain Ward and the executive team, and although no one else was present in the visiting room, which contains multiple cameras and is in front of a master control, the attorney and I was asked to move to another table in the middle of the visit. Less than three hours later, after the visit, I was called to the administration building and arrested under the pretext of an investigation of fighting. The incident that had been orchestrated and been in the making for months. Two days prior, I had a physical altercation with an inmate that I believe was sent to antagonize and provoke this altercation. This inmate, whom is a military veteran, I believe suffered some degree of mental health or PTSD, PTSD for months had been engaged in the microaggression and disrespect despite my repeated request that he stop or disengage. On 17 and 24, after a mild verbal rebuking about his sneaking up and standing directly behind me, which I had repeatedly asked him to stop doing, he escalated detention by coming to my cell after count as I got ready to work for work. Banged on my banged on my closed cell door, invited me to a fight repeatedly even though I asked him to get the fuck from myself. I came out, verbally engaged, tried to de-escalate the situation and walked away, twice telling him I wasn't trying to fight him in spite of his loud verbal disrespect. In terms of the third time, he mumbled something about my mother, whom he knew was dying of cancer, and I didn't physically discipline him, which was called supposedly on camera. The reason I say this is an idiot was sent. That Friday, 7-12-24, the first meeting, an event that I had organized to establish a VA legal defense committee slash shock Shakur feeding preparing was to take place. That Saturday I had two events scheduled that I was supposed to participate in and, and a video visit scheduled. These events were widely publicized and certain elements that Beaumont didn't want me to be able to participate. Now I'm asking people to do the zap because when I was transferred on seven twelve under the pretext initially of an investigation for fighting, when it takes two to fight, but I was the only one arrested and shipped. <clears throat> and my property was shipped with the supposedly following me. None of my legal disk drives, the disk, uh, the, the, the drives, thumb drives that was delivered by the warden and whatnot, apparently was shipped with me. No one knows where these items are at. Beaumont Correctional staff say they do not have them which means that Beaumont should still have them in their possession under their control. Uh, same with my property. I'm missing 37 books. Only books that were shipped with me were law books. All my political books, educational books, history books, uh, medical books, what have you, were seized by this Sergeant Walker or Walters. Uh, in violation of policy, when all my property should have been shipped and the institution that I was being sent to allowed to follow policy and process my property uh, per policy. And if they felt that anything was over the limit or what have you, then they should have withheld it. This officer does not get to just uh, take my property and do as he pleases and do as he wishes without uh, notification or paperwork or giving me the opportunity to dispose of such. You know, and here's the thing about Beaumont is Ward now. I had someone, I had someone call the warden, and the warden is telling me that, or telling them to tell me that I have to produce receipts for things and items that was at my property. First of all, everything is digitized and electronic. So anything that we purchase or whatnot, it's a record of either in commissary 
or through the property room. Same way with my books. Any books or publications that come in, they're logged into uh, the property room, what they call them, an ad drop sheet, and it goes into your personal property file. You know, so they know the books belong to me amongst other things. You know, this is just retaliation, and this is what's the harassment, and this is my point. And I'm going to write a larger political piece, an article, expose on this issue. Beaumont presents itself, you know, on the, on the, on the surface in appearance. You know, it's a, it's a college, it appears to be a community college behind the wire, so to speak. You know, it's laid back, not a lot of stabbing, there's not a lot of violence, there's no fighting over the phones, that type of thing. You know, there's a work program, so workers camp where, you know, guys in licenses and bust, you know, his handcuffed and bust down the street to work in factories. You know, the guys that have been down 20, 30 years trying to make a role. You know, there's a lot of programs that's being offered that you probably wouldn't get in other facilities. You know, you offer a single sale at some point uh, at the facility, which you don't have in a lot of other facilities, et cetera. And that's the care. You know, that's the bait. You know, you have weights, you have access to weights, and you're pretty much out of your cell all day. You know, and in that regard, those are pluses, you know, for the most part, except for the exploitation of cheap labor, inmate labor. Uh, on the other hand, it's corrupt from the top to the bottom, administratively. You know what I'm saying? It's corrupt. There's no checks and balances. It's clicks within clicks within the administration. This new warden, the fevers, has a rich history of corruption and abuse of power. She used to be the warden at Fruvana Correctional for Women and was marched out of that place by the feds and somehow managed to hold on to her job and Beaumont Correctional was supposed to be her last hurrah. And when she and when she moved and was transferred to Beaumont to take over, a lot of we lost a lot of good people. A lot of administrators and secretaries and people, uh assistant wardens and people that were progressive and proactive in terms of uh, prisoners, uh, uh, rehabilitation and transformation and programming, quit. They either quit or transfer it out because they didn't want to work under her or work for her. And that's interesting. You know, that says a lot, you know. So the fact that she's taking a position of not, process, you know, processing my legal materials and not releasing my property <clears throat> is just reflective of her history and her nature and her unprofessionalism and her official misconduct. You know, and this is what, and this is one of the issues that needs to be addressed and something that needs to be looked into. You know, and while I was there, there was a constant campaign to have me removed from the compound. You know, he needs to be moved. He needs to go. He needs, they shouldn't be here. This type of thing. You know, in a hazing program while utilizing, collaborating inmates, you understand, to facilitate and instigate and agitate, you understand, and spread propaganda to try to neutralize the effectiveness of war. And this is what they do, you know. So I'm asking more people to call and demand a release of my legal materials, approximately seven thumb drives, at least two to three DVD discs that contains my trial transcripts, that contains ongoing litigation, pending litigation, uh, lawsuit, two lawsuit uh, litigation materials, medical records, et cetera, you know. And the other thing is that we're 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 uh, wanting investigation too is that when I left on Friday, when I was transferred on a Friday to twelve, my cell was searched and property was packed up. My property was taken to the administration building and left in a common area called Ben Bell Ellis, a common area where anybody can access, staff as well as the inmates that come through that area. Anybody can put any item in their property or take anything out of their property. And on Monday, it was delivered to the investigator's office. Now, the investigator, as well as the property sergeant, were in their office with my property doing who knows what, possibly photographing, copying uh, materials of, like I said, ongoing lawsuit. December 21st of 2021, I was beaten and attacked by correctional officers at River North Correctional Center. I have a pending lawsuit. Uh, uh, ongoing lawsuit that's working its way through the federal court system, you know, and there's no doubt that they want access to those materials that the state had been demand delivery of. The, 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 the visit itself with my attorney, we were under constant, we were under surveillance. He brought me a stack of documents as well as the thumb drives, which they were curious as to what he had delivered. 
And it's no coincidence that less than three hours later, I was being searched and shipped off the compound after this visit. You know, so again, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what I was dealing with and what we're dealing with with this particular situation. So what we're asking for people to call, apply a little pressure. We want my stuff released or, 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 or located. We want my property released and shipped to where I am and allow Buckingham Correctional uh, Center to address the property issue. Uh, and we want my legal documents released. Immediately. To prove that this is not a personal attack, that this is a factual attack, uh, you can Google um, uh, Maria, M-A-R-E-I-A, Lefevre's, capital L-E, capital F-E-V-E-R-S, and pull up her background, and she is listed in numerous suits, and then one suit where she was removed as warden uh, by the feds uh, at Suvana Women's Correctional. Uh, the case is Fletcher, F-L-E-T-C-H-E-R versus Lefevre's, 7, semicolon 21, dash C as in Charlie, B as in Victor, dash 00231. You can also look up the case Miller versus Lefevre's, 7, semicolon dash uh, 12, dash CV, dash 00266. Uh, and there's multiple others. Uh, the other one uh, that is interesting as well is uh, Justia, J-U-T-I-A, Law, comma, Parks versus Clark, 3, semicolon, 2022, C, D, dash, 00029.